this module here, we'll be talking about calorie maintenance. So when we want to tone our body, we want to look good, tone up, lose a bit of weight. What we're going to look at here, we're going to look at our, what is our maintenance calorie level at? What is our calorie deficit level at? Where is our calorie surplus level at? And where is the maintenance in between? See, lots of people out there think that, you know, it's all about, you know, eating, eating lots of food to, to gain muscle and it's about eating low calorie diets in order to lose weight. I'm here to tell you that your body's own ability to lose weight all determines about your metabolism. Your level, when you start losing weight, when you start toning up, when you start putting on weight or losing weight or maintenance in the middle, all determines about the metabolism and this ability to actually burning for you. So you can have like boiling water. Water will be boiling at around 100 degrees. Below that it won't, over that it will overboil, you know, it'll turn into steam. Same thing with your body. We want to increase that thing as much as we can in order to actually losing weight or gaining weight. So your metabolism is around this level here right now. This is all the terms about how much food have you been eating prior, uh, you know, how much healthy nutrition, how much proper exercise you've been doing genetically as well goes in and playing part and that pushes that up slowly and slowly age as well we all heard that when you're when you're when you're getting older 30 40 50 when you're turning up that your metabolism slowly goes down the way you're going to go in and then sort of like prevent that to happen is that you're going to feed it with proper nutrition you're going to make sure that you're getting proteins enough you're getting fiber minerals you're getting carbohydrates if you're eating carbohydrates you're getting healthy fat you're getting proper nutrition so your food have enough to work on alignment what is the activity level you have so when we want to tone up we want to make sure that our calorie level are nearby where our metabolism is so if you want to do sort of like lean gains, you want to put a little bit on size on, right? You want to make sure that your calories are just above, just above your metabolism and maintenance level. You want to make sure it's just above enough to actually feeding and putting a little bit on, on, on size on and feeding your muscles with a little bit surplus in order to actually build. And what happened when we start maintaining and eating on that level there, just above, it, it means that we are putting on muscle mass and when we start increasing our muscle mass, our metabolism again increases, our meta like resting metabolism increases again. So that means that, you know, you can actually put on muscle mass by being so close to your maintenance level that you won't gain any necessary fat. So that means you can start building size, you can start growing up and becoming a little stronger and becoming a little bit more lean at the same time while you're not putting on fat. So to clarify this thing here, your metabolism is controlled by your genetic, is controlled by your calorie intake, and it's controlled by what is the activity you're putting into your body. So weight training, resistance training, enhances your metabolism, and enhances your resting metabolism, so it goes up and it actually burns fat for you without you having to do anything. It increases your weight to actually burn fat for you. So you wanna make sure that when you wanna to tone up, when you wanna lean up, you wanna be around your maintenance level, and how do you figure out what your maintenance level is? Well, you can you can go in online, there's different calculators in there where you can calculate how many calories should you need in order to lose weight based on your activity level, based on your height, your age, your weight, all those things plays a part and then you go in and then you can calculate what is the estimated maintenance level for a, a girl or a guy like you. Um, the other thing you can do is basically just do that thing. I will encourage you to do that thing first, calculate your own maintenance level, and then figure out, all right, I'm eating a certain amount of calories right now. I can track my calories and what's happening. You can also do it if you're a little bit more enhanced. I personally do that as a lot with myself. I'm not necessarily calculating my calories. I just know roughly that, you know, I'm getting a certain amount of protein, I'm getting a certain amount of like certain grams of fat and carbohydrates, and I know where is my body at, how does my body react to the certain amount of calories I'm doing. So you could in particular eating, you know, the same amount of food over the next three, four, five, six days, and then see what is happening. What is happening with your current shape? What is happening with your weight? Is it going up and down? Is it stabilizing? If you want to lean up and tone up, I will really encourage you to start using the mirror instead of necessarily using the scale as a tracking tool. 
you're gonna look in the mirror and you will be like, the more awareness and the more you look at yourself in the mirror, you'll be like, right, I'm getting usually where my points are, you know, is it on the front of my stomach, is my legs, my thighs, my glutes, is it the side of my back, where I'm actually getting the fat first. It's the day where it starts, stores up. So then you go in and then you look like, all right, how do I feel? Does it get a little bit more slim? Does it get a little bit more toned? If it does that, well, then you know you're on the right track, right? That this thing here also comes back to that your body is not adapting to what you're doing. And that's where a principle like carb cycling come into place that you can, you know, you can manipulate with your carbohydrates. So you say on a day like today, I'm not doing any exercise. I'm sitting down the whole day. I'm just working and I'm not doing any sort of activity. Well, on a day like that, you could particularly take your, your, your general meal plan and then take out, all right, I can take out my carbohydrates, for example, from uh, my afternoon snack and my dinner, just to sort of even out in terms of like, I'm not, I'm not burning as much today. I'm not so active today. So you can actually even out that thing by taking a little bit of the carbohydrates out and then you can implement it again on a normal day. And then you can actually add a little bit on on a day where you're more active. So you actually go in and then you stimulate, but you 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 even out for for the level of activity. This process is a little bit more advanced, but what I will encourage you to start doing in the beginning is first of all figure out your maintenance level, and then put your calories as close to that number as possible, and then you just start looking in the mirror. What what's happening? Do I get stronger in the gym? Do I start developing a little bit? Do you start toning up? How do I look and how do I feel when I'm looking in the mirror?